button editor, so I wanted to do a little bit of a demo with these. I know one or two people asked uh, about a demo. Um, the instructions were pretty, were okay. Um, so that's why I wanted to come here today. Um, I got these at Michael's. Uh, there was a smaller one that came with it. These were about uh, seven fifty dollars um, for the two of them. So not horrible, and they seem to be pretty well made, pretty, pretty solid. Um, but let's jump into it. So uh, once you put it together, you're gonna take one side out, uh, kind of like this, and take your yarn. Um, usually I can just hold the yarn together and just start wrapping it around. And you know, one, one hand can wrap it around, the other hand can kind of um, uh, bring everything together so you want it kind of lined up like that, nice and tight. Um, so, You really want it to cover the entire thing, at the very least, so that way you have a lot of yarn and a lot of palm for it. Um, usually I would go back and forth again, but just for the sake of the video I won't. Um, I found that more yarn is better for stuff like this, um, but again, just for the sake of the video I won't go back and forth. Um, so again, once you flip it over to the other side, um, just gonna bring it out again and just, you're gonna keep going like so. Just takes a little bit of time. All right. All right. That's gonna be good for for the video. So once you get to the end, you can close it up. So that's kind of what it looks like. Get your handy dandy scissors. Now this is gonna be the kind of tricky part, okay? Take your scissors. Start cutting in between. Make sure to hold on tight, but remarkably I found that the yarn stays pretty good in place when you're doing this. Come on, there we go. Okay. So at this point, you're gonna take a length of yarn. Doesn't have to be too long. You're gonna really oh, I missed one. There we go. Alright. 
So you're gonna bring it through, you know, right in between. And you're gonna pull it tight, okay? Everything is gonna shift and that's kind of what you want. Just to tighten it up, just gonna do a simple knot, knot to make sure everything stays in place. And again, pull it tight so nothing gets loose. This is where, good fun. You can pull it apart. Oh my God. And pull it tight again. And this is kind of where you fluff it out. If there's an extra string or two, that's fine. Um, and there you have your pom-pom. And this is where you can kind of do some trimming if you like. Um, if there's any loose, you can kind of make the description. But yeah, this is why you want to, um, it's a little bit small, but that's why you want to go back and forth for um, and add more yarn. It's going to make it look, look much fuller. But that's just the basics of how to use one of the pom-poms. So, quick and easy, and it's a fun little thing to do. Especially if you have a lot of extra yarn, you can make a lot of pom-poms. Alright, I will see you next time. Bye!